All right, greetings everybody and welcome to another video. Today we have news night for JP and you know, eventually globalers as well. Uh, so let's take a look. Uh, the big thing is obviously Riku. Riku is our major update. This is right before essentially like one week before we get whatever is coming with the new version of Jaden. And then the following weeks after that, I don't know, throw, throw your hands up in the air and you, you throw a dart at a wall with a bunch of pictures on it. We'll see what happens kind of thing. But in the meantime, we have Ebady Riku. And before we talk about Riku, let's look at this vision card, because this vision card, I think, is going to be kind of the important thing this time around. Uh, like normally we talk about, oh, you know, characters or whatnot, but limited edition vision cards always end up being long-term valuable for specific types. So let me cut it right to the chase. This is a job hollow VC that's primary focus on his evasion. That's 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 all we need to say at this point. Nothing else on this vision card remotely matters as much as the fact that it is a evasion first card. Like if you're ever going to make an evade team work in the future, this card is almost certainly going to be one of the main things. We see this all the time with like the FF5 Hiryu card, which was just human killer on a stick. Well, it's also good here uh, with this in this situation for evasion characters. The jobs that will be equipping this, however, sword, knight, fist, dagger, ninja sword, and glove. It's a pretty wide scope. Now, the recent change of basically pairing ninja sword uh, with dagger is going to do wonders, I think, for that sword group and slashing type. But this vision card, I mean, like, if there are weird evade things in the future that are spear, then this VC is not very good. Thankfully, however, when it comes to daggers and ninja swords, those are the two main classes that are, are going to essentially want this. So, like, not even looking at the rest of this vision card, just looking at this. This vision card is already one of my big recommendations, but only for a specific set of people. The secondary effect of speed up means that this is, once again, just going to be tier zero, I think, for evade teams of these job classes. I mean, speed VCs are always universally good. Would I change evasion for speed? Absolutely not in this case. I think this is so good. You're always willing to sacrifice speed for evasion, providing your opponent can't hit you. If this is a considerable amount of evasion too, which will be higher than some other evade cards, because it is a hollow VC and hollow VCs always get a little bit higher uh, evaluation on their initial stat then yeah, this VC is going to be pretty monumental for that. Maxing out the VC will also give slash attack up and guild battle only increased AP gain, granted effect attack up, accuracy up. And as for the guild battle vision card mastery, magic damage reduction of 1% and evasion up by two. So there is no reason in hell that if you have any interest, any interest, in doing anything evasion from now on. I think that this VC will be the one to get. This is my pick of the irreplaceables, thus, you know, for the FF10-2 collaboration. And will basically mean that most people are going to need to get, you know, something out of this, right? So this VC, yeah. All right, let's now take a bit of a tour up. Now, We've talked about Riku before. Uh, you can see a better representation here of her sub jobs. Uh, we've already talked about her limit burst, her effects of abilities. These were already previewed on the live stream. So if you want to go back, check that again. Uh, we, primarily, we know that she's going to be a s evasion support slash evasion character herself, where she is going to be really hard to hit. And if you can hit her, well, she probably won't survive, but it'll be interesting to see as she is a new generation evade style unit, which means that she's probably going to have more HP and maybe a little more survivability. But her sub jobs, 
not exactly helping her with evasion, which means that her main job will essentially be everything that she gets for evade, and that will kind of determine whether she gets there or not. Yuna right now is maybe potentially one of the better higher accuracy characters, but I I'm not too terribly worried because I feel like some of the high accuracy characters that exist in the game are plenty enough to get around the amount of evasion stack. And I'm not entirely sure that they want to put people through that kind of frustration. If a bunch of people are playing this game and they have to deal with all this evade stuff, well, evade just doesn't work super well for new players because you kind of need the equipment, which is hard to get. And speaking of which, uh, Riku's dagger will also be gotten through her uh, through an event. That means that it's going to be especially tailored to her, not a farming thing. But if you miss out, well, you're just not going to have it. You're going to be SOL. I also expect this to not be good for any other evade character seeing that uh, so far the FF10-2 equipment has been very exclusive to characters. Very exclusive. But we can also see a little bit more detail about what Riku will entain uh, from her master ability. Um, luck up by 15, big thing for evasion, as well as single target resistance penetration of 25, which tells you what kind of damage he's looking to do and potentially where you might need to stack. I mean, I don't know. Riku could be the standout character by far. She could absolutely be the PvP character that if you're interested in PvP, if this is the one you should focus on. She could fall completely flat. And this is what I want to really end the discussion on Riku about. <clears throat> Riku is sandwiched between Yuna, who is a pretty dang high accuracy character, and Jaden is coming out the following week. Two new range characters, one that was already good at evasion. We know very little about the new version of Jaden, but I would be hard pressed to not imagine that he is going to be insanely powerful and insanely capable, which probably will put Riku in check and the combination of Jaden plus Yuna might be more than enough to sink Evasion's dreams, although that would be a really quick turnaround. Now, all I'm going to say is that while I will be curious to see how Riku is, and I'm happy to see her in the game, especially because I do believe Dissidia Opera Omnia never got her. FFB did, but eh. Um, I'll be curious to see where Riku lands on the power scale, seeing that 10-2 so far has been powerful, but not insane. It really is telling of how this anniversary has been going for new characters, that the power creep has slowed down, at least for this little bit. Other than that, Thunder Veritas will begin her master quest too. Congratulations, uh, Yahtzee and all that stuff. And we will also be getting our new Veritas trial. That Veritas trial will be against Dark Veritas. And from initial details, let me just see. I thought I thought I had this open. I'm sorry. Apologies. Apologies. Oh, I do have it open. I'm just not on the screen because I was looking at the other thing. Bosses effective attack resistances. So uh, shooting and don't hack resistance. So yeah, Yuna, this this trial is looking more and more like it is just focused on Yuna. And I'm not too terribly surprised about that, but it might dictate about what's going to be really effective here. If you want to clear this, get through and get into the chances for some rewards. So that is it for this news update. We'll have some more details on banners tomorrow. Unless there's specific anniversary banners, you probably won't hear anything from me because that's the only thing that would be a surprise. I expect Riku to have the exact same banners that every other 100 cost character has. And I expect her to essentially have a price tag like every 100 cost character recently. But yeah, that is all for now. Hopefully this video has been informative. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. See you later.